Hi, this video is for Chem 2045. We're working from um, the fall 2009 uh, number three exam, and we're going to do practice problem number 15. Um, this problem says two, uh, 0.0125 grams of gas with an empirical formula CHF2 is placed in a flask. Um, we're given a pressure and a temperature and a volume of the flask, and it says to find out what the molecular formula is of this compound. So the first thing we'll do is write down the things that are given in the problem. So we have um, the CHF2 as our empirical formula. And it asks us to find the molecular formula. And it gives us a variety of information, um, such as the mass, which is 0 0.0125 grams. Um, the volume of the container, which is 165 milliliters. The pressure, which is 13.7 millimeters of mercury. And a temperature, which is 22.5 degrees Celsius. Um, now we can assume that this is a, uh, an ideal gas, so we can use the Thevenert equation if we need to. So what we're looking for is the molecular formula, and the thing you need to know about this is that um, the molecular formula is basically a whole number multiple of the empirical formula. So the empirical formula is the smallest ratio of each of these atoms. So to do this, we have a formula which is to find the whole number multiple to multiply each atom. This is going to be equal to n. And n in our molecular formula is going to be 1 times n, h, which is 1 times n, and then fluorine, which is 2 times n. Each of those numbers I got from this empirical formula equation over here. So this equation right here, the whole number multiple, is the molar mass of the compound, which will be of the molecular formula, divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. So we have the real divided by the simplified empirical formula. That's going to give us the whole number um, that relates these two pieces. Now to find the molar mass, um, we know molar mass is going to be uh, the number of grams per mole. So they give us a mass for, uh, from our sample, but they don't give us the number of moles. But because we assume this is an ideal gas, we can use the Pevenert equation and our known values to get the number of moles. So we have all of these. We bring n to one side. We have PV divided by RT. So we'll plug that into this equation over here. Um, but first, it might be easier just to figure out the value for n. So n equals pressure times volume divided by RT. Pressure is 13.7 millimeters of mercury. And then volume is 165 milliliters. R is 0 0.0821 liters times atmosphere per Kelvin times mole. And then temperature, which is 22.5 degrees Celsius. But we can't leave it in Celsius. It needs to be in Kelvin. So we add 273 
0.15, and that is Kelvin. Um, something you may wonder is how we knew what R was, because we have two values of R. We have 0.0821 liters times atmosphere over Kelvin times mole, but we also have 8.314 uh, joules per mole Kelvin. Uh, looking at the units uh, determines which one we need to use. This one deals with energy because it has joules in it, and this one has liters times atmosphere over Kelvin times mole, so we're going to use it in our p-nerd equation. So um, uh, that's why we use 0 0.0821 over here. Now before we can multiply you that, we need to convert millimeters of mercury into atmospheres, and the conversion for this it's something that you'll have to have memorized, which is one atmosphere for 760 millimeters of mercury. Also, we need to convert milliliters into liters. So, one liter for 1,000 milliliters. Now we should cancel all of our units to make sure we have our um, equation properly set out. So millimeters of mercury, cancel. Milliliters, cancel. Um, liters, cancel. Kelvin is going to cancel. And um, atmospheres is going to cancel. So the only thing that we have left here is moles, which is going to end up being on the top of our equation. So plugging this into our calculator, we get 1.225 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. So now we have a total number of moles in our um, sample here, and we have the mass, so we can figure out the molar mass of our compound. So molar mass equals um, 0.0125 grams divided by the number of moles, which is 1.225 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. Plugging this into a calculator, we get 102.009 grams per mole. So now that we have the molar mass, we can plug this into the top part of our, part of our equation over here. So we have 102.009 grams per mole, all over the molar mass of the empirical formula. Now this part will be easy because all we have to do is add um, the molar masses of each atom that's in the empirical formula. So uh, carbon will give us 12.01 grams per mole, hydrogen will give us 1.008 grams per mole, but fluorine is going to give us two equivalents, so we multiply 19 grams per mole times 2, and adding all of this together and dividing that under 102, we're going to get um, a solid number of 2.0. So our n equals 2. So we can plug that into our um, molecular formula up here, and we'll have carbon with 1 times 2, hydrogen with 1 times 2, and fluorine with 1, actually, this will be 2 times 2. So calculating that, we have C2H2F4. And this is answer choice B. So the thing you should walk away from this problem knowing is um, how to figure out empirical formula from, or figure out molecular formula 
from the empirical formula and using some of your knowledge of um, Pevenert and how to find the whole number multiple.